before we do anything, we have to say thank you to today's sponsor, Bespoke Posts. So, appreciate y'all. Oh, look who came in the mail, dude. Look who came in the mail. All right, so, something new, something new that I've discovered. Bespoke Posts. I have, I have no idea what's inside of these boxes, but we're going to find out. So, $70 in value in this box, but it only cost you $45. So, let me, let me see what they sent me here. Looks like it is a giant knife. All right. Look at this meat cleaver. Oh my goodness. So that's pretty cool. The box lineup changes every month. It's a great way to discover cool new products and brands. You really never know what you're gonna get. You can go random, which is kind of what I do. I just get random boxes, or you can pick your category. So. <laughs> Random is fun. Random, random is fun. Cause I, I mean, now we can figure out what we can do with this. This is a light. It's a solar light. That's actually pretty cool. Magnetized ruler. I'm guessing that's a, another knife. All right, we like cutting things in these boxes. The dangerous boxes. A military compass. That is pretty cool. So me and my, me and my cat Kong are over here uh, opening these bespoke post boxes. This is a trifold camp shovel. There's a shovel in this box. Really? There's a shovel in this box. Yo, there was a shovel in a box, bro. No way. So anyways, you can skip a month anytime. You can exchange hassle free. Um, super easy company to work with. It's interesting, it's interesting. So if you like getting new stuff and opening boxes like I do, check them out. So if you wanna check out one of these cool boxes, make sure you head to the link in the description. Use my code DYNASTY for 20% off your first box. Come. <laughs> we like opening stuff. Yeah, it is off. It is off. But if we do the duel... I just feel like that's almost kind of the pointless one to do the duel on. Yeah, like, if I'm going to do that one, I might as well just let that one ride. And then next go around, we, do, do, we do a duel and... You know, we choose a different, we choose a different star, like we choose some, I think it'll probably be Netflix. Well, we have it. Annabelle and Rogue coming up too. Yeah, yeah, we do, for sure. I think it'll be, I think it'll be Netflix. You know, Simba and <laughs> Penny is the, the move. That's happening. So, oh, there's Future. The Future is going to be great. The Future looks great. It's going to be colorful. Super colorful, but... Look at their first snowfall. They love it. They're like, oh, this is the best. What are we doing? This is the best. This is the best time ever. Come on, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're hopping around. What are we doing? What are we doing? This is sweet. Come on, jump around so I get pictures of you guys. I gotta close this up.
Sosa. Everybody loves Sosa. Ah, oh, winter in New Hampshire. It's uh, snowy, but as predicted for me, it's not been as cold. It's not been as snowy as normal. To be honest, this is like, look, that's the ground, right? That, that, that there is a rarity where I live. So I'm happy with that. About to be, about to be February. That's good. So, but at the same time, you know, as I learned, you know, just from being around here, I, you know, I want the snow for the for the economy, you know, for the people. It really helps the snow. Really, he's taking it down. Okay, bad pictures. <laughs> the snow really helps, you know, the you know the locals and the people around here, you know. So I want them to do well and to be able to, you know, flourish and all that. So, you know, let it snow for for those for those reasons and all that. But for me personally, I'm not a the, you know the biggest fan of the snow, but we deal with it. He loves it. It's beautiful to look at, but to be in it is uh it does it does get old a bit quickly, I shall say. But you know. We deal with it, you know. Uh we're you know, just positive, positive vibes. Positive vibes, what's all about. Guy, we gotta get some good photos. Oh, stout back shot. Got it. He's gonna have to give it to me in a second. Oh, my face feels like somebody tied a whole bunch of fishing line around my gums and have them rip together. Every time I open my mouth too wide, it, I can feel it tighten. Yeah, they're called stitches, sir. Yes, they are. So yeah, you know, my face is feeling better, but stitches in my mouth suck. But other than that, I feel better. No infection is gone. My mind is coming back and my weight is coming back and my sleep has come back so super thankful for all those things right there i'll tell you that oh so i'm healing up look oh all stitched up i got all my bone grafting in there i'm gonna get my implants put in and i'm oh there's gonna be a row of teeth over here people oh it's gonna be months but you, you know you don't know you don't want you don't know what you got till it's gone and and you know I didn't sleep that much, but Lord, does the body need that little amount of sleep that I was getting you need. You know, you get to a certain point, three, four days of sleep, you know, you, you start going crazy. It's, it's what starts happening. So it was a pretty scary time for me. Um, you know, I didn't even really realize kind of how close I was to, you know, serious, serious trouble. So glad I took care of it as I did. And uh, we're on the way to the perfect smile <laughs> oh we're on the way to feeling good yeah it was it was really bad i've never been in that type of pain like in my life and i have broken almost every bone that you can imagine and i've had you know stitches and multiple concussions and i've been through all that and i'm telling you nothing hurts more than tooth pain or that kind of tooth pain because there's levels to it you know the first level you know abscess infection it's bad but years and years of teeth problems and this is the second go around so basically it was a failed root canal and i had antibiotics and i had it uh dealt with like maybe like two years ago as well um and it felt good and then normally you can get rid of it for a little while and then when it comes back for that second time is when it's going to be just like the most excruciating horrible experience ever and i felt it coming i set up an appointment to get my implants done and just like ironically like 10 days before i was supposed to get my implants my teeth just started banging that tooth started hurting so bad so why i waited so long was because i had an appointment and i didn't want to mess up my implants so i didn't want to like they said like, yeah, I mean, there's a certain way to take the teeth out or whatever, put in the bone grafting material. So I don't want to go to my other dentist, have them pull the tooth out and mess up the whole progress and then have to be all, you know, wait, which maybe I should have because I damn near almost died from making this decision. But 
whatever. I made it and I'm here and I'm good now. And yeah, I got stitches and bone grafting and soon there'll be teeth on there. So yeah, that's a little update on what's going on with me. See the whole life. You guys ready to come in? Okay, we've been right around here for a minute. We did the video and then we're here. Ready to come in. You guys are nuts. Look at this, look at the eyes. Look at this. Look at the eyes of the okay. And I know you're always yelling. It's like I know. Look at you guys. Alright, alright. Some of the dogs were uh we do fosters with. So I mean Kano. You can't not like Kano though. It's Kong son. Can't not like Kano. He's the man. This guy, so meet Crash, but you guys are really gonna get to actually experience some of his first moments training, which you are right now. He's never really seen a tennis ball before, but watch, he's got this down already where we throw it and he brings it back. Guy, guy. Okay, he's like, no, no, you don't. Good boy, yeah, good boy. So that was, he learned that on live. So he's pretty quick. We just all I'm doing really now is getting him comfortable with being up here. Good boy. Getting him comfortable with being upstairs. Um, that's really it. I mean, I don't really care whether he does brings it back right now at all, honestly. It's just I just want him to be engaged with it and want to have fun. That's all we want. I want him to know that when we come up here, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna train, we're gonna learn stuff. He's ready. Ready to learn? Alright, let's do it. All right, it's time to go train. I gotta work with Fader. We're gonna get this muzzle on him right now. So, TDK9 dash gear. If you haven't already and you need to get muzzle or training equipment or anything, leashes, collars, harnesses, tubs, sleeves, bite suits. I mean, I sell it all. So make sure you check it out. Hey, got him there. Gonna see which one fits him. Right, go up. We got Vader up here. See, so we can't work with the muzzle today. Um, he's great with everything else, so the muzzle is just really so we can just tie everything up and, and just finish everything. He should be ready to go on his way in the next few weeks. And uh, success.
telling you what happened. Do you go to the hospital? I have a dead arm. On the scale of one to ten, how bad does it hurt? Like, for example, if you paid me, I couldn't lift my arm above my head. So whatever that means. Whatever that means. And I also can't reach down to get my shoe off. So if you could do that, that would be great. Thank you. The dog did great though, he did great, he did great. Yes, when I introduced the muzzle to a dog, I, uh, I, I use a bite suit. So, um, I use a bite suit because it's something that he's familiar with. So uh, it's just really easy to get him to engage and kind of forget the fact that he has the muzzle on. Because <clears throat> some dogs like, you know, you can do muzzle, you can do the feed and stuff with them. Some dogs just really never like the muzzle. And he's just one of those dogs, you know, we did a lot of kind of conditioning with him and he just never really dig the muzzle. So I just put it on him when they're in drive and we kind of teach them to understand it like that. So for the first one, it was great. Obviously I've been like sick and out for a few, so I haven't been able to do too much. But uh, so he's just kind of getting back into the swing of it, but he did great, man. That dog impresses me like every time I come out with him, I'm impressed with him. So that's it. I'd love to do more, but I honestly don't think I can right now. Honestly, my arm is like so dead. That sucked. Well, the dog was great, but th that, that ending was not quite what I had in mind there. I wasn't trying to go shoulder first with a giant bolt sticking out of my wall for a back tie. And uh, yeah, I just kind of went like full force into it when I was training the dog. And it, it hurt a lot, I'll tell you that. And my arm is dead, definitely couldn't reach it above my head, but you know, I'll take my licks, I keep moving, just like life. <laughs>